Hey guys, this video will be slightly different to what we've currently um, been uploading in the past. Um, it'll cover some of the tips that we as the tutors um, from Lockdown Learning used throughout our school years, which really helped us and, re and specifically helped us in our final two years of school. So if we look at some uh, tips in terms of studying, I'll just run through some really key areas of focus that helped us a lot. So do not think that the longer you sit and study, the better you'll do. It simply does not work like that. You must rather study smart, not long. I repeat that, study smart, not long. Then when studying for exams, we used to have a full list of every topic that would be covered in the exam. So you basically take the breakdown and then what you do is you rewrite the breakdown into sort of a checklist and then you tick off the sections that you're comfortable with um, once you had studied them and it helps it, it works very well to know where you are with your work and make sure that you leave nothing out then many times going back to the first point many times i've heard people sitting for hours and hours and hours studying 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 thinking that the longer that they sit at the desk the more information they'll get into their brain. But they still cannot explain key concepts. Again, guys, I cannot stress it more. Study smart, not long. It's all about smart studying. Before you start a session, set yourself realistic goals that you want to achieve in the session. Try not to enter a study session without a clear plan about what you'll be covering. When setting the goal, it is good to concentrate on the sections that you are most unfamiliar with. Often people spend lots of time on subjects or sections that they enjoy or they are good at. It is better to rather put time into the sections that you struggle with, even though this can sometimes um, feel hard. Then another very useful tip is trying to summarize um, information in the form of tables, especially um, for parrot learning content because it helps you to self-study it so you can cover the one side of the paper um, while the other side shows and vice versa. Then a very, very, and probably the most important point that we can, that we can try and tell you guys is past papers are the key to getting good marks. Do as many as you can and, priori and prioritize them over everything. Uh, they show you how they test the content um, do the paper and then mark it. Do not do the paper while looking at the memo. So treat it as a real past paper. Then do the past paper as if it is a proper test, i.e. don't just do one question and then immediately check the memo. Do the whole past paper without checking your phone, textbook or the memo and set yourself the time limit that you'd usually have for that paper. And only when you finish the whole thing can you mark your answers. Even if your past paper doesn't have a memo, it's sometimes helpful to still use it for practice to get an idea of how questions are asked and what content to focus on. Teaching is learning, guys. Try to teach your friend, mom, dog, sibling, the wall. And if you can explain a concept without checking your notes, you know your work. Don't keep studying that same um, section on work over and over. Move on to the sections. Um, that you struggle with the most. Then for English and Afrikaans and subjects that uh, focus a lot on essay writing, try to share your essays with your friends and get them to share theirs with you. That allows you to see other people's points of view on themes, topics, etc. And it gives you a chance to engage with more topics than if you only had your own essays to refer to. In just a small little section, uh, specifically focusing on organization, Guys, I cannot stress it enough. Organization is key to academic success. Uh, what a lot of us did um, as part of the lockdown learning team in matric and in grade 11, we had a file per subject um, with file dividers for different sections of work. Um, and obviously it's important to keep your work from grade 10 because a lot of the matric work is based uh, you can get your good basics from your grade 10 work. So keep all your work from grade 10. 
then it's important to file all tests, even if they are more like exercises, small little class tests that you think will not be useful. They are great for future reference before exams. Then file as much as possible. This will help you in avoiding valuable learning material going missing at school. Rather keep it at home in a file. If you have a, lap if you have a laptop, create folders for each grade and then within each grade create subject folders rather than saving everything in the same folder, which makes it hard to find later on. Uh, if typed notes work for you, I can strongly recommend it um, because they are always on your laptop and you don't really have a chance of losing them. If you do lose the physical copy, you can just print it out again. Then another very valuable resource is store all your uh, study related stuff on Google Drive so that if your computer happens to go missing, you can still access it on your phone. Whereas if you save everything on, onto your actual computer's drive, if your computer had to go missing, that's all of your stuff gone. So really make use of Google Drive. I really hope this uh, video helps. All I can say is that it certainly helped us. Thank you very much.